If you are curious to know what will happen if you will call or mail on this number, then this video is for you. Because see, there would be two cases. First, maybe you are lacking the product. In that case, you may give the positive feedback, which is very rare and uh, to be frank, not necessary also. Because see, if you are liking the product, then you as a consumer are liking the product. And when the consumer are liking the product, they will buy that product. And if they will buy that product, the sale of that product will increase. And if the sale will increase, then there will be a demand in the market. Then directly the food company or the food business operator will come to know that yes, this product is good and the consumers are liking the product. So this is the biggest feedback, right? But what what if you are giving a negative feedback and like you, many other people, we cannot say people here because see, uh, here we are talking about food and if people will consume the food, then they are called consumers. So if consumers are also reporting the same issue, then the company, the food business operators have to take some actions and how they will take the actions. We are going to discuss in this video and how you will take the action on this video <laughs> by liking this and on this channel by subscribing. If you are liking what you are seeing here, come on, show the action. And if you are seeing me first time, then let me tell you, my name is Trans Rastav and I am the final year student of BTEC Food Technology. So what the food company or any food business operator will do when they are getting a negative feedback or any complaint about a particular product, then they are going to follow the process and the process is called food recall process according to the FSSAI Act Section 28, which includes some steps. Let's discuss one by one. Step number one, assemble the recall team. See, if I'm saying assemble the recall team, that doesn't mean that they have to create a team when they are getting these kind of complain. There should be a proper team who are going to look into these kind of matters. In any food industry, the recall team is the quality management team, especially the quality assurance officers. And if you want to know the difference between quality control and quality assurance, then check the video in the i button. I made a dedicated video on this. So this is the step number one, assemble the recall team. Now, step number two, inform the authority, which means we have to inform the concerned authority as early as possible when the incident is identified. And who is the authority here? State government and central government, FSSAI. And we have to keep them updated about each and every single steps of the recall process. Either we got the product or not, at which place, what is the location where we got the product. And to find the location, we have to identify individuals and businesses to whom food may have been supplied. Which is the third step. Identify individuals and businesses to whom food have been supplied. Now here, food business operator have to identify where they are giving their products, wholesalers, and how they will trace them with the help of lot number, or you can say batch number, printed on each and every single packets of the food product. So next time after watching this video, if you will check the expiry date of any product, make sure to check out the batch number also either it is printed or not and if you want to know more about this then check the i button i made a video on this when i was just started my youtube channel those days now after this the location of the product is identified with the help of lot number batch number <music> So the step number four is segregate storage, reprocess or destroy, which means they have to separate who the food business operator have to separate and clearly identify the recalled products. They cannot keep the recalled product with the normal consumable products. It should be stored separately. Then they have to check the quantity. Basically, they have to monitor the recalled product thoroughly. Then they have to record the recalled products in the recalled products record document. After restoring, they have to check either they have to reprocess the recalled products, which means they can make it safe for human consumption or not. And if not, then destroy the product, which is the step number four. And all this action to be taken on the recalled product should be approved by the competent authority, which is also very important. See, during the process of recall, the food business operator have to update the authority each and every single step. Either they are reprocessing the product or destroying the product. They have to check the effectiveness of the recall process. What they are doing, either they are doing this recall effectively or not, which is the fifth step.
verify the effectiveness of the recall. The food business operator should determine whether the recall process is progressing effectively or not. They should submit regular status reports to inform the progress of the recall. Once in a week at least or the duration may be vary and it depend upon the depth of the issue. See here documentation is very important because see how they will prove how the food business operator will prove that yes they are following the process recall process effectively and in future also if someone ask then how they will prove without the proper document that yes they conducted the process recall process effectively so they should submit the proper report proper document proper food recall documents to the concerned authority which contain all the records like how they got the product what is the batch number of that product what they did with the product either they reprocess the product or they destroyed the product how did they destroy the product all the things are involved in that documentation after submitting all the documents the state food authority will terminate the recall and one more important step food business operators should fix the cause of the recall they have to put some controls to prevent similar problems in future because see it involves a lot of potential manpower is involved which means proper team is involved documentation is involved time is involved when time time is involved money is involved and more importantly the brand image is also involved in this and apart from all this the reputation of the company is also involved that is the reason fixing the root cause of the recall is very important so this is all about food recall process if you are confused make sure to watch this video once more to clarify the process and if you are preparing for any government exam then let me know in the comment section when maggie was banned approximately for 5 to 6 months then what was the reason and it was under recall process or not let me know in the comment section till then thanks for watching signing off bye